I'm finally ready to tell you what I think about the Sun System's 315 watt LEC fixture after running it for, oh, around three or four months. Now, in case you weren't aware, ceramic metal halide lighting technology is causing quite a stir in the indoor growing community right now. Yeah, it's only 315 watts, less than you might be used to, but well, two words sum up this fixture. Mind blown. I mean, seriously, I'm in love with both this fixture and the lamp. The growth, vigor, and health I've witnessed in my basil, which you know I love, and cilantro crops have been truly mind blowing. I can only really compare it to plasma light fixtures. I mean, there are a few brands on the market, but all of which are nearly double the price of the LEC. I've observed fast and compact vegetative growth and awesome tastes and aromas in my leafy crops too. However, I think this grow light could play an important role for growers producing flowering and fruiting crops too. After all, a dynamic vegetative stage provides the essential scaffolding for any future bumper harvest. If you put the time and effort into producing healthy plants in veg, you'll have all the momentum you need for your plant to fulfill its genetic destiny in flower. Back to LEC. In case you didn't know, it's short for Light Emitting Ceramic, aka Ceramic Metal Halide. Now, standard metal halide lamps use a quartz arc tube where ceramics, like you see in HPS lamps, are stronger and less susceptible to degradation. Ceramic lamps operate at much higher pressures than standard metal halide lamps. The ceramic arc tube is necessary to resist the caustic breakdown effect caused by the unique mixture of salts and halides used within the arc tube. It's this mixture that creates the broad spectrum, which in turn gives growers the enhanced photosynthetic photon flux levels. In more layman's terms, your plants can enjoy a near full spectrum, clean, crisp white light, very similar to natural sunlight, along with a greatly improved lamp mortality curve and lumen degradation. The Sun System 315 watt LEC fixture has an integrated square wave low frequency Philips brand electronic ballast that starts the lamp with a pulse, causing minimal wear and tear. The lamp itself is a Philips Master Green Power CDM TP 315W 930. The 9 indicates that this lamp has a CRI of 92, and the 30 means it's a 3100 degree Kelvin lamp. Philips also makes a 942 version at 4200 degrees Kelvin. Now that's the sort of color that you'd expect from a standard metal halide lamp. The 930 is slightly warmer. Either would make a great vegetative lamp, or it could be mixed with HPS to provide a fuller spectrum during flowering. Okay. Let's move on to practicalities. So the active growing area provided by the AerioFlow 18 hydroponics system you see here is about three and a half feet by two feet. So this allows for the plants to get a bit bigger. The LEC 315 fixture has a square shaped footprint of around two and a half feet by two and a half feet. I've mounted my LEC 315 on a light rail to increase its footprint a little so that I can cover all my plants evenly. My basil plants are happy with anything between 200 and 600 micromoles of light. Tomatoes or other fast growing heavy fruiting annuals could want anything between 500 and 1000 micromoles. So positioned 18 inches away, I'm averaging around 500 micromoles at any one point as the light moves back and forth. Sure, when the light is right over a taller plant, I'm pushing 750 or more, which is incredible. But we we need to check leaf temperature too. There's no point providing all this light if the plants are shutting down due to heat stress. Light rails are great for mitigating hot spot risks, especially if you're using higher wattage grow lights. All right, here comes the cool part. Using my infrared thermometer, I see my leaves are around 27 or 28 degrees Celsius. That's about 81 or 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Now this is a good few degrees cooler than my grow room's air temperature today, so I'm satisfied that my basil is happy. And I mean, you only have to look at it. I also got these rooted basil cuttings over here in the shade and their leaves are a similar temperature. Another good sign. So because this lamp is mounted vertically, there's less radiant heat going straight down to the plant canopy. Instead, you get a beautiful diffused and plant-friendly light. Look from the plant's perspective on how the reflector design creates four additional reflected lamps. The insert is made from 98% reflective German aluminum and 95% reflective textured corners for excellent output, uniformity, and diffusion. Also, the lamp's uniquely dual jacket open rated construction reduces radiant heat from the arc tube at source. So, to sum it up, now that I've tried LEC, I wouldn't grow without it. The sheer speed of growth as well as the enhanced flavors and aromas in my crops seem well worth the investment. You could certainly cut down your time and veg with this grow light and produce squatter, denser, more vigorous, and sturdy plants too. 
I'm actually so impressed with this light that I'm considering trying its big brother, the LEC 630, sometime soon too. That's basically a two-lamp horizontally mounted fixture, and I'm sure we'll see other fixtures using ceramic metal halide come onto the market soon. Okay, time to say goodbye to my Greek Thai Genevieve and lettuce leaf basil. All doing great. Say goodbye, guys. Thanks for watching. Questions and comments below, as always. I tried to slow this one down a little bit for you guys that have said I've been going too fast, but please, 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 please hit that subscribe button to brighten up my day even more. See you soon. This is Everest, out.